Living World Season 3, Episode 5, A Shadow's Deeds. We gotta get back to that camp. Update on the creature that hospitalized your scout? We finally got a message from Priory Headquarters. Hard to get a pigeon to fly through a magical storm in one piece. The description of these stone men matched an ancient weapon the Mersat and White Mantle used before the Crichton Civil War. They're called Jade Constructs. They were the Mersat's primary martial units. Floating constructs? That sounds similar to the Exalted. That's because they're using ancient magic from a similar origin. Or at least that's my current theory, Poobah. Did your backpack just call you Poobah, Commander? It's a long story. Go on, Tiny. There was a time, way back, when the Seers and the Mursat shared a lot of info. Why do you think they're all so floaty? So is there anything that'll keep me alive in a fight against these jade things? Remember that magical protection I told you about? That should work against jade constructs, too. It was based on seer research that Zen, the founder of Rada Novus, performed during the Crichton Civil War. I highly suggest mastering it before you get in a smashy scenario with one of those jade brutes. Good luck! Tie me out! Looks like there are magical scorch marks leading this way. It's me, Commander. Kate. Benetetti saw you. Are you trying to figure out why the explosion reversed itself and the trail led me here? Look at these marks. Could these have been made by a torrent of magic? Possibly. You think something or someone was behind this? Or was it a natural disaster? 
Seems like an awfully odd natural disaster. You saw what happened, right? I've recently learned to not always rely on my senses. They can... betray you. This pedestal seems to be the nexus of it all. Let's look around and... Trella! Danger! Incoming! Did you see that? That bloodstone explosion seemed to trigger some sort of magical echo. I couldn't really tell what was happening. Let's find some more bloodstone and see if we can recreate it. Get a clearer picture. This could give us an insight on why the blast reversed itself. Stone pieces next to the staircase. Guess this is how. How did you end up down here? I was returning from the grove when I saw the explosion on the horizon. I wasn't going to leave it uninvestigated. Good work getting this deep into the crater. Must have been moving like a shadow out there. That's what I do. Maximum pain. Kate, over here. Bunch of weapons. Are you sure about that? Because they're glowing. What was your business in the grove? I was visiting the Pale Tree. How is she after Mordremoth's death? Ailing, but recovering. Although not well enough to give me the guidance I needed. Sorry to hear that. It's... Back to the task at hand. Those explosions expose some more bloodstone. Bloodstone under this table. It's a note. 
Must have survived in this chest. What's it say? It was the White Mantle, all right. Apparently, they've been prodding the Bloodstone for some time now. But it also hints at some sort of splintering within their group and a divisive leader. Must be Codicus. The Legate Minister? Oh, I should stop by Divinity's Reach more often. I'm out of the loop. More bloodstone here. Can't believe this operation was happening under our noses this whole time. What is that thing? You're going to get a special action skill. You're going to need to use it whenever it pops up. very confused and I felt like the only person I could trust was me that's the very time you should have leaned on your friends don't you see I didn't know who my friends were enemies friends even fallen it was all gray I wish I would have trusted you but I didn't and now that's in the past all I can do is hope you'll forgive me in the future Keith you don't have to respond now I want you to think about it so your decision is considered okay well Let's see if our little experiment works. Ready? I'll take care of releasing their magic. Then what? Then we cross our fingers that we jumpstart the magic echo, and don't blow ourselves to smithereens. standing. There was only a brilliant light, devouring magic. Then some people behind the light didn't look so lucky. These silhouettes. They must have been vaporized by the blast. Who would have done this purposefully? Someone who just absorbed the lion's share of a bloodstone's worth of magic. Could have been Codicus. I have to find Kanak and warn him, if he's still alive. Sounds like someone's looking for you. Commander! Kanak ordered us to find you. Minister Kodakus is in the area. He's alive! I need to tell him about what we just witnessed. Point me in the right direction. Uh, Kate? You know what? I think I'll stay a moment. Maybe poke around some more. Are you sure? Will you be okay? It's fine, Commander. Remember? I'm a shadow. On to the next chapter. <laughs> <laughs> 